Hi, I'm Tom Dalton, host of the Emmy Award-winning PBS television program, Under the Radar Michigan, where every week we feature the cool people, places, and things that make Michigan a great place to be. Now in May, the National Main Street Conference is going to be right here in the city of Detroit. And there's so much cool stuff happening in Detroit right now, you're not going to believe it. Well, you don't believe it? Check this out. When was the last time you came to Detroit for some fun and excitement? Now, if you're worried about the big city, believe me, you'll get over it. Because the only thing you've got to worry about is how you're going to get hooked on coming back over and over because there's so much cool stuff to do here. Did you know that urban gardens are taking root all over the city? People live, work, and play here every day, and they love every minute of it. Driving three miles to the mall every weekend isn't going to teach you, enrich you, or enlighten you. You have to step up and step out if you're going to discover great things. Detroit is neighborhoods, restaurants, microbreweries, skyscrapers, sporting events, culture, condos, and conies. There's something here for everyone, and that includes you. In the shadows of the Fox Theater, Comerica Park, and Ford Field is Detroit's historic entertainment district. It's an area that's coming back fast, thanks to people that are bringing new life back to these streets. New businesses are popping up everywhere, and they're doing very well. Now, in the 1930s and 40s, Detroit was one of the premier jazz cities in America. All the jazz greats from around the world came to play the clubs here. And one of these historic clubs is back. Cliff Bells is one of Detroit's original classic jazz clubs. It's got a lavish Art Deco interior that's been completely restored. The club features great food, classic cocktails, and amazing musicians. I spent some time with Paul Howard, one of the owners, and he's put his blood, sweat, and tears into bringing this classic jazz club back to life. I love the Art Deco in here. Mm -hmm. I love the woodwork. Um, did you have to completely restore all of the woodwork? We did a lot. There's a lot of new wood in the bar. It's probably about half new. And in fact, uh, the bar originally was shaped like a telephone. At the ends here, they came back just recently. Uh, we made the bar go all the way around. This seems to work a lot better. The original club was just these two bays that you see here. The back room was an addition, and originally the kitchen was there where, where the stage is. Uh, the stage is striking. It's the first thing you notice when you walk in is the stage. Mm -hmm. Tell me about that. Uh, the stage floor there is a herringbone maple. We did have to replace quite a bit of it. Uh, we, we did what we could to, to match. Now what about on the back wall of that? Is that a painted canvas? It's a painted canvas. It's, it's new. Uh, I have a sister that's an artist in New Orleans and she painted that for that location. Because it totally looks like something original, like that right. would have been here in the 30s or the 40s. Right. Have you noticed that since you've moved in here, it's changed the, lands the urban landscape in the area? We're not the first on the block. Uh, about 10 years ago, the, this whole block was pretty desolate. The town pump back in the 30s was the anchor at the other end of what was the Park Avenue entertainment strip. They were the real pioneers. Since then, those same owners have opened a place across the street. Uh, and then at this end, uh, we opened and the bar next door opened, the Park Bar. Uh, one thing that's kind of nice about Detroit is there is no real strip. There's a lot of little hidden away places and if you know where to go, uh, you, can, you can certainly have a good time. This place I know is now serving complete dinners. What kind of food do you guys serve? Classic American fare. We do frog legs, uh, steak and eggs, uh, we do uh, London broils, a lot of steaks. The oxtail soup, tell me about that. It sounds interesting. It's great. Uh, it's a it's a it's a house specialty and people love it. Uh, we, we um, you know we, it's a, it's always on our menu. It changes seasonally. The the recipe changes, but uh, but it's always got oxtails in it. After my chat with Paul, I decided to jump behind the bar and get a real feel for the flavors of the '40s. Um, this is my new friend Lola, and she's going to show us what are some uh, drinks from the classic drinks from the '30s and '40s. Um, there are many classic drinks. There's uh, the Sazerac, uh, Manhattan's. Old Fashions, Sidecars. What's your favorite? Uh, my favorite would be the Sidecar. Oh, why don't you show us how to make yeah. that? Because I'd love yeah, to actually see it. I know yeah. how to make a beer. <laughs> you open the top. Yeah. Pretty much is what you do. But So ice in the glass. Yep, and this is to chill the glass. So I put uh, ice and some soda water, keep it nice and chilled while I'm preparing the cocktail. Okay. Filling my shaker with, with some ice. With ice. And then I'm going to reach back here and uh, grab some Remy Martin. Remy Martin is a it's what? It's a cognac. Cognac, okay. And then uh, some Cointreau. 
Cointreau is orange liqueur. Yeah, orange liqueur, that's correct. Check out the big brain on top. And then... See, cognac, orange liqueur, and this yep. is a sidecar. This, this I remember side reading car. about this being huge in the 40s. Yep, and I'm gonna be putting some simple syrup in there. Okay. Just a teaspoon. And then I'm going to squeeze some fresh lemon into the drink. And I use a strainer to catch um, any pulp or seeds that may come out of the lemon. Okay. And I use half of a lemon. Is this considered a ladies' drink, or is this you something know, I You know, I can see drink? men and ladies both drink this, and, okay. and that's why it's a great drink because you know it's not considered a masculine or a harsh okay. or. You I know. have to ask because my reputation. <laughs> right. So. It's very important. Right. And I'm gonna shake that. I wonder if Remy Martin's a person. Oh well. We don't want to overdo it now. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at the color. It's beautiful. Yeah. Then I'm going to finish it with a nice lemon twist. How festive. Yeah. Take this. Smell some lemon. Get some of that lemon extract out. And ta-da. That's absolutely awesome. This is a sidecar. Thank you, Lola. You're I welcome. Sh I shall enjoy it. My pleasure. But not on camera. <laughs> In the evening is when the magic really happens at Cliff Bells. The lights go down, the energy goes up, and suddenly you're transported back to a time when jazz was king and elegance was everything. The night we went featured a band called the Hot Club of Detroit. They're a classic gypsy jazz band that you really have to see to believe. These guys are from Detroit, but they're becoming famous around the world. The crew and I thought we'd stay for a couple of songs, but I'm telling you, once you settle in at Cliff Bells, it's really hard to leave. It's the kind of experience and atmosphere that's almost impossible to find anymore. And you're not gonna find this place anywhere else but Detroit, Michigan.